A team of six workers were roller painting in a confined space when a flash fire occurred. One worker was killed and three others injured. Before work started, an entry permit for painting and cleaning work in a confined space was applied. The safety assessor conducted a gas test. The results of the gas test showed that the confined space was safe for entry and he endorsed the permit. Two days before the incident, the workers started roller painting. On the morning of the incident, a gas test was conducted. No abnormalities were observed and the entry permit was endorsed. The workers carried out vacuuming and clearing work using thinner, which was a flammable substance. At noon, a second gas test was conducted. Following the gas test, the quality of the painting in the confined space was inspected to assess the quality of the work done. The workers were then instructed to perform some touch-ups to the paint job. After the safety assessor conducted another gas test, the workers brought in drums of paint and hardener into the confined space. One of the workers mixed the paint and hardener in the confined space for five minutes. He then distributed the mixture into the empty drums. The roller painting commenced. 30 minutes later, a flash fire occurred. Painting in a confined space had resulted in the death of one worker and injured three others. What went wrong? Accumulation of flammable vapors. The activities in the confined space had accelerated the accumulation of flammable solvent vapors in the confined space. These activities include the mixing of paint and hardener in the confined space, distributing the mixture into empty drums, drying of paint. Adequate measures were not in place to eliminate the accumulation of flammable vapors. No gas monitoring. Portable gas detectors were not provided to monitor the concentration of flammable gases in the confined space. Lighting with exposed filament. Electrical wires not properly maintained. Light bulbs with exposed filaments and exposed electrical wires are sources of ignition. No effective maintenance regime was in place to ensure that the lights and wires were in good condition. Lessons learned. Risk Assessment Before starting any work in a confined space, always conduct a risk assessment to identify safety and health hazards. Measures to minimize risks should be implemented. Avoid accumulation of flammable vapors. Mix the paint and hardener outside and not in the confined space to avoid accumulation of flammable vapors in a confined space. Provide portable gas detectors. Provide workers with suitable portable gas detectors to monitor the concentrations of flammable gases or vapors while working in confined spaces. The concentrations should not exceed 10% of their lower explosive limits. Use flame-proof lighting. Flame-proof lighting should be used in confined spaces. Establish a regular maintenance regime to ensure that lighting and live wires remain in good condition. Ventilation Dilution or forced ventilation should be used to dilute solvent vapors to prevent accumulation of flammable vapors within the confined space. Use a stronger force to control airflow during increased painting activities. Ideally, both exhaust and forced ventilation methods should be used together.